internet around our villages. So at first when we started understanding this, we saw that whenever villages are having any health problem, they first visit rural medical practitioner who is not even certified. Whenever there is a health problem, they visit a rural medical practitioner and he is not even certified. And the rural medical practitioner gives them a symptomatic treatment, not for the cause. And if he is unable to treat, then he refers them to a private clinic where he gets a lot of commission. It's all of profit motive. And even villages take the advice of rural medical practitioners because he's, he stays within the village and he's always available to them. So they believe in him. And they know him for almost 10 to 15 years. So that's how they are not getting a right treatment. And they visit government clinics only when they don't have money or they are completely bankrupted. So that's how. In this, in this model, the inputs will be villages and their health problems, money and RMPs. And this, during this process, they are getting only symptomatic treatment, but not the correct treatment. And the outcome of this is that disease remains untreated and even after spending a lot of money and the uh, and they are in some families they are completely bankrupted and they are in debts because of the health issues and so some of them give up on their health issues and they let them uh, address to die in some cases so once we understood this health uh, model then we conducted a health survey uh, in this survey we wanted to understand various health problems for which villages are seeking healthcare system. So we conducted survey in two phases. First is the medical survey in which we, we, we did a questionnaire based survey and an objective survey. We conducted few medical tests also like blood hemoglobin levels, blood pressure, random blood sugar levels and uh, a socio-economic survey to understand their art attitudes because of the so is there any link between the socio-economic status and the attitudes towards the healthcare system. And the analysis is still in progress and these are the, some of the few findings. Uh, when we see the most of the women are having less hemoglobin, below 10 gram percent in the villages. And most of them are anemic. Because of this, they have a generalized weakness, irregular menses, and uh, they are usually, uh, they have fatigue easily. So this is the graph which shows the the people below the red line are having less hemoglobin percent, below 10 gram percent. This is the one of the findings. And the other one is the uh, blood pressure levels. This is systolic blood pressure, just it's not a, only systolic we are giving. In this, above the red line are the people who are hypertensive. And these are the ones which we have diagnosed for the first time. They are hypertensive and they don't know that they are uh, hypertensive. And most of them complain of, such, uh, such patients are complaining of headache and giddiness. And uh, they'll get a B complex injection or a saline injection, saline, intravenous saline by the RMPs. They are not even checking the blood pressure in the villages. So when we check, these are the people who are having hypertensive. So after this is the random blood sugar levels. And above the red line are the people who are diagnosed having the blood uh, diabetic or having impaired glucose tolerance, pre-diabetic condition above the red lines. Uh, in villages, comparatively, diabetes is a bit low. There, only hypertension is rising, but diabetes is right now it's a bit low. So after studying, after getting an understanding about the medical model and the, their health problems, we wanted to design an intervention program and develop into a model. So on this, we have developed a system where Sodhana will train the. SRG members, we have a self-help group members. So they stay locally in the village and we train them as a health volunteers by giving them a training programs about basic health elements like simple cold, headache, how to measure blood pressure, how to see whether they are anemic. So simple techniques. And with that we give a small medical kit containing 15 basic medications like iron folic acid, B complex, calcium and uh, citrusin for the cold and paracetamol for the fever. So with these medications we train them. And these volunteers, with the help of a doctor, we will conduct a health clinic once, every, once in a month in every villages, in and around Chi So that they get a practical 
knowledge of what kind of elements are come, health elements are coming and what kind of advice doctor is giving to them so that they will get a practical we give a theoretical understanding in the office and a practical understanding in the uh, clinic so they will get an understanding so after this we during the health clinic anybody in from the village can walk into the clinic and get a treatment for the simple things and if there is any major problem we can give it advice or a, uh, any counseling for them and we can even refer them to a hospital where there is a good doctor who can give a treatment for free or anything when there is if they have any financial burden this is how we have sent one child who is five years old he's having a uh, ventricular septum defect vsd so we have referred him to a cardiologist dr c v rao so he said he'll do the surgery so these are the few cases and there are some many cases of orthopedic cases we refer to the government health hospitals so in this way the, our sg members will be trained both theoretically and practically and during this clinic we will give the treatment to the whatever the patients who come to the clinic and during remaining days our volunteers will uh, do the medication who are sick in the village they visit the village once in the morning and evening to so is to see whoever is sick and they will give the medication necessary medication and if they if they need an ad, additional advice they will refer to the organizations which take care which will make sure them they will get the necessary following step so in this way we try to reduce the rural medical practitioner dependency uh, influ sorry influence on the villages so this is the model which we want to develop so that they will get a right advice at very low cost and they will get a medication from the person who they believe whom they interact with daily and they can have a regular follow up with the organizations and they, our SRG members it is a criteria that SRG members have to be in the village we belong from the same villages so in this way we develop this model so mostly in this model the inputs will be villages NGOs basic funding and a one doctor only I will be dealing with this thing right now and in this case there will be more concentration on prevention rather than healing the disease and our SRG members are conducting various awareness programs about health issues and try to educate the villages so in this case there will be a low cost cost will be reduced of various health elements and basic elements will be treated and we are interacting with even the government programs like Indian government is distributing iron folic acid and vitamin B complex for free so we make sure that we interact with government and make sure they will get the iron folic acid every day so one of our volunteers will also interact with ASHA workers they are giving the thing so they will make sure that everybody are getting iron folic acid supplementation so in this way this model is we want to make it a model which is replicable and easy and at a low cost and our vision is to improve the medical knowledge because there is a lot of gap between the understanding of how villages think about the medical system and how it is uh, happening in in the hospitals because they think that by just seeing at the patient I have to tell what are health issues he is having but this is not the case there is many complexities in understanding a health issue so in this process we want to improve their medical knowledge how the diagnosis happens how various things happens and to reduce and to give them a right advice about their health issues and make sure they are getting the right treatment in this way we reduce the dependence of rmps reduce the villages dependency on the rmps so this is our vision okay thank you